Okay, so next I'm going to show you a fun way to kind of mix up some of the classical work. I'm going to show you a long stretch variation that blends into the front splits. So I'm using one red, one blue. My foot bar is on the middle shelf, the up bar position. I have my headrest up with a non-slip pad. So first, I'm going to start here like this. I'm going to bring both feet against my shoulder rest and I'm going to find a nice comfortable plank position. Now from here, I'm going to turn my toes towards you, towards the camera. And we're going to start with something that feels a lot like the long stretch. So I'm going to maintain this position as I inhale open. Most of my weight is in the right hand and I'm going to ride the right hand back in. And again, I'm going to inhale open. Exhale, draw that shoulder blade down towards my right foot as I close the carriage, actively pressing into that right hand, right here. Now, I'm gonna open halfway out and pause right there. And now I'm gonna pike the hips up to close. For three, most of my weight is in the right hand, right here, lift out of the right hand to lift the waist away from the floor, cinching that right waist. I'm imagining I'm drawing that bottom rib to my hip, cinching all while drawing that shoulder blade down. Now, if you wanna to add to it from here, I'm gonna bring my right hand to the center of the foot bar. Left hand is gonna release. As I open the carriage, I open all the way out like a long stretch. Now I'm gonna lift up and over, side bend over. Two more like that. Nice inhales I open. I like to follow my hand with my eyes. Exhale, lift that waist away from the floor. Hollow out that armpit as I come in. Last one here. Exhale in. Good, now we're gonna to go to that pike. So I'm gonna reach my left hand to the floor. As I open the carriage, I'm gonna lower the right hip, reach the right hand up. Now, as I close, I wanna lift the hips up, thread the needle under, close the carriage. Inhale, open, following my hand with my eyes. Exhale, lift the right waist off of the floor, hollow out that armpit, recruit those obliques. Open just one more. Now I'm going to come here. Both hands are going to be on the foot bar. We're going to do a long stretch variation. I'm going to inhale open, exhale bring it in. Just getting used to the movement of the reformer. Inhale open, exhale bring it in. Now let's go into up stretch. So I'm going to start with my hips over my feet right here like this. Inhale open all the way out. Exhale, ride the carriage all the way in. Wait for the carriage to close. Drop your head, scoop your belly, roll the hips back. Lifting the head, then the tail. And open. Lead with the crown of your head. Bring it all the way in, hollowing out those armpits. Lifting the sternum away from the foot bar. Bring it all the way in. Whew, one more. All the way in. Now from here, I'm gonna bring my left foot up onto the foot bar. Keeping my hands down, I'm gonna extend that left leg long. I'm gonna open the carriage. I'm gonna do three here. Keeping my hips square, I bring it back up. Not keeping, trying to keep this left hip pulling back the entire time. Inhale, open. Now right here, as I close, I try and pull my left hip back to the back wall. One more here. Good, now I'm gonna bend my knee, bringing it right over my toes. And then I'm gonna reach my hands forward here like this. Now I'm gonna to go to the classical front splits. I'm gonna lift up and then I'm gonna drop down and then I'm gonna bend, bend my knee, bringing the carriage back home. Lifting from that pelvic floor as I lift up, drop down. It's not about how low you can go, it's all about staying in control. Let's do one more, reaching it up and down, bringing it back in. Good, from here, I'm gonna bring both hands down and go into the long stretch. So my feet are on the non-slip pad. I'm gonna inhale, open, exhale, bringing it back in. Two more like that. The goal here is that I like to keep the carriage in motion the entire time. I don't like it to be idle very long. It's fun to let it flow, especially with the classical work. 
I'm gonna bring my feet back against the shoulder rests again. Let's do three more up stretch. And bringing it in, leading with the crown of my head, lifting out of the heels of my hands as I deepen that curve, shifting my weight into my heels. This time, I'm gonna bring my other foot up onto the foot bar. Whoop. That wasn't quite as smooth as I would have liked. <laughs> going to take it down but this is real life I'm going to pull that right hip back as I close the carriage two more just like that last one it feels so good now I'm going to bend my knee bringing it right over my toes finding my balance now I'm gonna go into the full front split variation. I'm gonna extend that right leg long. Bending the knee to close the carriage, bringing my knee right back over my toes. Reaching up, dropping down, bringing it back in. And again, up, down, and back in. Just one more here. Good, now I'm gonna bring both feet back down. And now from here, I'm just gonna turn my toes towards the back wall, and I'm gonna start from the side long stretch here. I'm gonna open. Now I'm gonna press into my left hand, ride that left hand back in. That's three. Two, I'm drawing that shoulder blade down to my left foot. Last one. Now, to do the pikes, I open halfway out. Inhale for nothing, exhale, pike it up. So that left waist is drawing my left foot to my left hand, closing the carriage. Really piking those hips up. Good. Now, the left hand comes to the center, right hand extends over. As I open the carriage out, I follow the hand all the way to the leg. Now I'm gonna lift up and over for some lateral flexion, reach to the floor. Inhale, open, I'm following my hand with my eyes. Exhale, I'm gonna lift out of that armpit, drawing that shoulder blade down to my foot, closing the carriage. One more. Now I'm gonna to reach to the floor. I'm gonna open out, lowering the left hip as the carriage opens. Now as the carriage closes, I lift the right hip and I thread the needle. Inhale, opening. Exhale, recruit those obliques right there. Ring those abdominals out like a sponge. Opening it out. Exhale, bringing it home. And there you have a fun way to flow some of the classical work together.